We're going to use the Lagrange multiplier to solve this, del f equals lambda del g, where g is our constraint. Doing the partial differentiation, we get 1 minus 5, 2 equals lambda times 2x, 2y, 2z, and that gives us 1 equals 2 lambda x, minus 5 equals 2 lambda y, and 2 equals 2 lambda z. From these, let's let x equal t, and then 2 divided by 1 gives us y equals minus 5t, and 3 divided by 1 gives us z equals 2t. Now we can plug these values in into f. It gives us t minus 5 times minus 5t, and 2 times 2t, which is 30t, and then solving for t, we have to put into g, which gives us t squared add minus 5t squared add 2t squared equals 25. Solving that gives us 30t squared is 25, i.e. t is equal to 5 over root 30. And all we need to do now to find f max is plug that value in. f max therefore equals 30 times 5 over root 30, which is 5 root 30, which is answer E.